Okay, welcome to the stream. I am Neozar. This is my 108 FTL hard win streak. Doing all the ships, random order, repeating. And uh, should be good now. I just had a little hiccup with the first stream. Uh, I was dropping frames, like half of my frames or something supposedly were being dropped. But I think we got that resolved now. Looks like it's all good, so just let me know if uh, you see any issues coming up or if it looks good or whatever. Um... And I'm uh, going to jump right in here, since we started last time on the Slug A, and we left off in a great position for sure. Uh, we've got baller weapons, all the systems we need, um, solid crew, and two reloaders. And for start of Sector 6, right? Pirate, which is like an alright sector. Looks like it's a decent layout. That's not ideal. It's like late exit, but... You know, I have to leave a jump early depending on how that one lines up. Oh, and I gotta do a little due diligence here, and I gotta thank my latest two uh, subscribers. Uh, Marble Eye subscribed a couple days ago, and uh, Nikki Wire just subscribed uh, earlier today, it looks like. So I gotta thank both of them. I know a lot of people, well, I know they've both been by the stream before, but I know a number of people uh, also watch the videos and can't always make my uh, stream times. So, I mean, they're as much part of the community as anyone else, and I, I appreciate everyone, whether uh, they're watching live or after the fact, or, you know, a little bit of both. All good stuff. And uh, definitely check out on YouTube now. I have uh, almost all the runs. There's only, like, four or so runs missing at this point, I think. So it's just about caught up. Um, so it has everything I've streamed, which starts from run number 67, I believe. Um, so now, getting up to, you know, 108, that's a solid chunk of runs, like 40 runs or so, right? That should be up there. So that's all good. Alright. Oh, I should take this starting soon off, and there you go. It's like my first stream, I had that thing up for, like, the whole run. Okay. So I just always like to take like a minute here and settle in whenever you're like jumping back into a run. Even when it's like a really strong ship, sometimes it's worth like, you know, you just have to remember like, well, what things I have to watch out for, be aware of, or like, there's something funny, you know. It's like the ship's definitely like low power, low defenses, but I went up to seven weapon power. I remember right at the end of last stream. Um, so we're very much relying on this. Like we might, you know, we'll probably crew kill a little bit less. And just, you know, blast some ships. But, you know, we'll see how it goes for sure. Depends what the ships look like. set to start taking some jumps here. Just like compulsively checking, make sure my network is uh, working out okay. <laughs> Sorry. I think we're all set. So distress, we got decent options for distress at this point. 
but we really want to think about it in terms of like mapping the sector. So we got one to two stores here. I feel like I kind of got to go over there first to see what's going on with those. Otherwise, like this, you know, that store. Not that we really need stores, I guess. <laughs> Definitely don't need them. But we do have an open augment slot. Alright, so here we attack them before we can attack. And they have drones, a missile, burst laser 2. Um, anti combat drones. They have two anti combat drones, so those don't really matter for us. My guess is they might they either have a bunch of onboard drones or they're going to have a boarding drone or ion drone that's popping out here because that's only two drone power between them. Um, only two shields also, wow. Because so our drone parts are a little bit low. Yeah, so it must have like shipboard drones. Um, so I might try to get away without hacking a little bit, especially since we're not like crew killing. We can kind of just like decimate them with our volley is the idea. And we can cloak the first missile if we have to. If it's a Lido, we probably have to. If it's an Artemis, we might be fast enough with the two reloaders. We've got training. Oh, that's right. I was like, how do you not have training? But it's because I had trained a slug and then I swapped him out because it's a great room for a rock. Um, since it's bad to vent. Yeah, it's a Lido, right? Yeah. Um, so might as well cloak it. It's more likely to hit us than the first laser. I mean, it's still just 90%. Well, yeah, and also, they don't have weapons anymore after our volley hits them. Definitely helps that out. Healing Burst. Alright, I mean, that's scrap, mostly, but that's fine. So, we'll probably end up going there and selling it, but we'll take some jumps first. Buy drone parts, at least. Go up to ten. Right. Lamest event there is. Sun, with no ship at it. It's never a fun time. Sometimes I feel like the doors get a little wonky, trying to select them. Oh really, you're not gonna go? Yeah, just come in, it's fine. You're welcome. Just come hang out in the med bay. Should be charging my engines because we still want to leave. <laughs> so one nice thing about it at least because it's like not a fight you have the like increased FTL charge speed. Let me measure this out real quick. We get two jumps probably. Yeah two jumps. Don't necessarily need to take two jumps though. Well, I guess we could do this. We can take three before that one. No. So I'm just gonna be diving there anyways. I really gotta do like one, two, and then the store if I wanna do that. Um, I'll just take one before I think actually and just go over this way. Promise to help, NG crew, 51 scrap. All right, that's stuff. That's something. 45 missiles also, geez. Sensors, that's something too. So sell the heal bomb. Um, I'll buy sensors at this point, that's fine. Like there's other stuff we want for like defenses and whatnot, but like, 
We don't know how many stores we'll see. It's a lot of systems, and it's useful to have another hack target for flagship. Like, that's easily one of the deadliest things left to us in our run at this point, is like, if the flagship decides to hack our weapons twice or something. Like, we should still win no matter what at that point, but it's definitely one of the like worst situations or part of a really bad situation how it would unfold. Um, so I'm gonna throw that out there. All right. Whatever. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anything else here? 13 fuel is fine for sector six. Oh, whatever. I want to give it away. This can still go up to 15. Yeah, alright. So here we explore the asteroid field, take five damage. That's fine. It's one of the reasons we repair, like, up high, so you can take those events. Because you can get good value out of them too, for sure, so... It's better to generally if you can repair up to do it, and then you can be a little looser with hull on events and fights. Also, like if your goal is to like consecutively win things, it's generally a good idea to to stay alive if possible, which includes uh, having health. So, I'm a big advocate of hull repair, which. <laughs> Might sound kind of like an obvious thing, but the very con there's very common uh, advice given about not repairing up to full to take advantage of uh, hull repair events. And while I understand the the thought behind it, I don't think it's really true um, for like win rate at least. There's something to be said for like. Sometimes taking risks is there's more advantage to it when you're not like maximizing the game. Hacking, hacking, hacking. Where are you going? Can you go to sensors to just be like, good job buying this? No, you can go to something else. My controller. That's fine. The nice thing about hacking my control is it only lasts for the duration of the hack, which for my control isn't very long. Like it's not enough for someone to break a system even if it's level three my control. Or level three hacking, I mean. No, I don't bet on them hitting right. Well whatever they did, but Oop, I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. Obviously. Didn't hear that fire either. Usually I hear it fire if I'm not paying enough attention. Um, so you got an Artemis coming. Like, it's not a big deal. It's just going to the empty room. Or Lido, sorry. Small bomb. Like, often I would want to cloak this one. Maybe I still do. I guess, yeah, I should have done this also because I uh, bought those drone parts. Obviously, I'm just uh, playing. But it's like, oh yeah, it's an easy run. I don't need to like think about it too hard. It's like, no, I still need to like play the game. Ridiculous volley. All right. 
Hey, Farb. Repair to fold to take damage from events to take advantage of free hull repair. It's true. There you go. That's the value. You got to make sure to take that damage so you can get the value. Yeah, it's like there aren't that many. And then there's also like the cheap repair events, I guess. But I think it's also, you're more likely to like chase quests and stuff maybe when you're playing at that point. And some of those are like huge repairs. And so you're like, oh wow, I was at like five hole and I got a full repair. It was like the best value ever. And it's like, well, yeah, but not something you want to like, you want to play for. All right, Asteroid Field. And cloaking is going to be cloaking three. We're just going to sit here. Yeah. So, oh no, they're just cloaking too. Um, I'm trying to think if my weapons will beat their weapons still. Will be, I mean, beat the uh, first laser, maybe. It doesn't really matter, we'll just cloak it, but. Yeah, I don't think it'll get there in time. Yeah, it fires, but it doesn't get there in time. Um, how do I do this? Just make sure we take that offline. And let's just hit your shits down. But yeah, I always, well, I never went just to 20 when I did repairs. Um, I used to just go to like 22 because I didn't like it not being green. And so it'd be like, oh, you take like one damage right away. Like, oh, come on. Now it's not green anymore. Um, but it's like, it's one of those things where over time, I feel like I repair higher and higher and higher. There's probably a point where it's not really right anymore, but maybe not. Same with fuel, I buy more and more fuel. Search for the ship. Take the weapon, a spare scrap, grab the stasis chamber. Yeah, there's no way we could get it at this point in time. There's not enough sectors left. If we were in a sector where we could get the uh, science event, maybe we could meme it and go for a crystal. But we take the weapon and any spare scrap. And it's a flak. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, I feel like I'm supposed to use it over the burst laser. I don't know if I really want to. It's like, I like the targeted damage. I like the fires. If enemies had like six shields, I'd go for the double flak. Yeah, that's the other thing too. It's like ships like Fed C, like you're playing on just like eating damage. You don't really want to like be playing the low hull game. There's definite ships that, like, I try to repair up to full in the early game, like, all the time. And that's definitely, like, Fed C and, like, some of the Mantis, like, Mantis C is a ship that, like, I'll just spend, like, 500 scrap on repairs, I feel like. Just, like, all run long. <laughs> Until you just start snowballing you going crazy. Aid civilian ship. Yeah, I love one flak. One flak is ideal. It's a great weapon to have one of. Any more than one, and it's like I'm gonna be frustrated with it really quickly. Um, what is this ship? This ship kind of sucks. I guess we should we should kill them. They should die for having a bad ship. It's just how it is. And your ship sucks, and you should feel bad. Oh, nice. We can get everyone in one room, right? Sweet. So, because the NG wants to go man engines, and the way this ship is laid out is also kind of dumb. Although, it's like a good anti beam ship. Beams suck against this one. And so, look, he slides into the middle. Once he's in the middle position, I think that's where he's going to be guaranteed to go through. Look at him slide. Coast oh, he would, that was actually his hit position. There we go. Now, this is him going to like the door position. So he goes through, but then we lock the door. So 
so we got four in one room. That's cool. I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna pretend that was my plan though. Clearly. Um, I'm not gonna like kill him in one. No. That's good. And right, shoot everything. Hack him. Good job. See, this is why if I had multiple flak, this is why I'd be annoyed because I'd just like hit their oxygen system or whiff. Instead of doing that. <laughs> Too bad you're a rock. Otherwise, that would have been just perfect. Although, it should still get you. Need exactly three shots. Unless some of your damage is from being punched and you have like a fraction of a health, but I don't think so. That's probably like that seems like the right number to have health to have. After what I hit you with. Ah oh, crap, I shot the flak. I didn't mean to shoot the flak. Oh no, it's gonna ruin my crew kill. Is this it right here? Did I just ruin my crew kill? I did. It's because I was talking about it, I like willed into being. Unless they like run out of oxygen really, really fast in this room. But I think they have like level three oxygen because that's been hit and this hasn't like gotten pink at all. Oh, I'm a fool. That's all right. These things happen. We don't worry about too much, but that's just like, it just had to show me, you know, this is why we don't use both flax. Because you'll be foolish and lose crew kills and stuff. Yeah. See, I feel like when I make mistakes like that, then I should just like really beat myself up about it so I can tilt and throw my streak. Because it's kind of like the honorable thing to do after failing. Um, I don't want to buy Willow. I'm sorry, you're not worth money. It's it's unethical to buy you. It's better to just kill you. Um, Mantis. Ooh, all Mantis. That's fun. With a Vulcan. That's a baller move. We're gonna have a Vulcan that you know might need to repair and have just all Mantis. All right. So what room do I want to kill them all in? Um. Let's do the engines thing, because it's right by the med bay, it's kind of nice. Do a little party in there. Just can't take so long that the Vulcan gets spun up around. Splat. I guess I could have some evasion. It's like not really the most efficient way to do this because it's like I do too much damage and so I just have one guy left. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Just waiting for him to like get through the door. Then what can we do? Do six damage to him. Of course I have no way of actually just dealing six damage here. So we'll deal five. Ah, uh, no. No fire. Hey, there's a fire. You can do it, fire. You got him. Quick, before the Vulcan gets me. All right, good job, fire. Um, probably, yeah, <laughs> do that. Yeah, wait for the shield to come up. Yeah, it's one of those things that's like, I don't think to talk about it or think about it until it's happening. And I'm like, oh yeah, I do this now. I just fire it. I can probably just do that. That's okay. 69. I feel like there's endless things in this game that I don't think about ever doing until I'll, it's like the situation to do it. I'm like, oh yeah, I have to do this thing now. That's right. I'd be terrible at just like writing up a step-by-step -step blind, I feel like. Um... So I struggle giving people advice so much because I'm like, oh, I don't know what I do there. 
Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely don't give up a crew. This is much more balanced ship you got. NG, human, rock, mantis, all kinds of stuff, a teleporter. But no way to heal yourselves, like that's kind of dumb. And the two NG here and the mantis. Um, I'll do this. So I just run them out of the room for a moment so I have time to like get both crew up there. Oh yeah, this guy's trying to do the, uh, the little shuffle dance that they like to do. You get in and out fast enough, there we go. Ah, oh, not enough. Um, I'll just cloak this one. Right out of the door is going on. This is a terrible room to like have to kill this crew in quick. I have no mantis and this is like the worst place to vent on the whole ship. Alright, 82% working for me. It's like I gotta swap out who's like fighting these people even. Whatever, just use the end. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna come fast enough this way. I turn my med bay on, I guess. All right. Have I ever tried no pause? No, I haven't yet. Um, I'm totally interested. I feel like I used to be really skeptical that I'd be able to play it like well at all. But after like getting used to playing on the computer more again, um, I'm pretty sure if I worked at it, like I could get there. Like I, you know, I don't think I'd be like incredible at it, but like I think I could do, you know, serviceable. Or at least I like the hybrid like pause no pause like they use for the tournament. Um, yeah, well, I'm just wasting this jump, obviously. Slow home nebula. I recently learned that you don't actually get any more scrap for crew killing uh, either of the ships that do the oxygen hack event. Um, so I'm like not as into buying that blue option at the beginning of the sector anymore. But I'm going to buy it here anyways because it's like the end of the run. I'm going to get it for flagship and I don't really need to spend scrap on anything else right now. So might as well make my life easy. But yeah, I think like, you know, messing around with some no pause stuff is like a very likely uh, thing I'll be trying out at some point, I'd expect, you know. Well, it's like I'm assuming I'm going to lose at some point. It seems to make sense that I should lose at some point. Um, you know, like I won't be able to help it no matter what. So whenever that comes, I feel like that's probably if I'm going to keep playing FTL, it's going to either be no pause or like mod stuff or both. I don't know. But I don't think I'm going to do like another just a regular win streak after that. That seems kind of crazy to me. And it's like Oxygen Hack event. I, I think I see the Oxygen Hack event at least 80% of like Slug Sectors, if not more. It's such a common event. 
And then there's the other one where it's not a blue option, but you like you choose it instead of weapons or shields because it's kind of an obvious choice. And then it makes it so you don't have zero oxygen there. Um, but yeah, I don't need to crew kill them because it doesn't matter. Also, I didn't realize they always have a fire weapon um, on the oxygen hack one, which is kind of funny. Because I know they have the doors one where they have a fire weapon, but apparently this one too. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I think this is the only one where it's like an actual blue option, but it's just like beneficial to have in the sector. Um, obviously don't need my control. I don't want to split this. I'm really not that worried about your weapons. Right. Cloaking, evasion, and most of your shield. Seems like a good trade. Whatever, I guess I should try to dodge instead of cloaking it. Get your training slightly up. Like, not really, because you kind of messed up there, but that's okay. I had a lot of pressure on you at that moment. to buy. Oh, hey, Zeech. How long have you been in this win streak? Um, I think I started it uh, November of last year, like the end of November. There's is either November or... Actually, no, I think that was like when I lost the one. So I think it may have been either the very end of November or like the earlier in December. Because I'm pretty sure I got my first cycle like end of December. And that's it. I was playing like five games a week then, I think. So yeah, it must have been like November when I started it. And then I like slowed down my the rate that I played games at like more and more and more over time. Um, so it'll, you know, it's like eventually by run 200, it'll take me like a year to do or something probably. Uh, I'm going to go to that store because I got the flak to sell. And I might buy like two fuel. I don't know. But I'll take a jump first. But yeah, it's just been like a ridiculous amount of time. And it, it, I, you know, I was like trying to get a cycle. That was my goal. And now I've just been doing this thing that's like turned into this like monster of a streak. Um, which is like pretty awesome. <laughs> but so I just kind of taking it as it comes, you know. I don't think I would even like I, I feel like the only way to really be upset about losing it is like if I lost it in a really stupid way, I'd just be like upset that that was like the way that I lost it. But, like, I'm not going to be upset at that it's done because it's, like, ridiculous. It'd be pretty, it'd be pretty foolish, I feel like, to be upset at a streak at this point. This guy's annoying. And is something else coming over here? I thought I saw something for a second. I'm not just imagining things. Yeah, whatever, we'll just do engines. Oh, it's going that way. I was doing that because I thought it'd be like a better angle to deal with this thing. Alright. So this is their charge two just fired like it's one shot, so it's five seconds, you know, minus the so half a second. So four and a half seconds. And then our flak is like Almost ready to fire. By time it missed us. Like almost three reloaders. We could have like fired it before it hit our ship. Really gotta get that third one. Otherwise we're toast. Alright. Poor guy. Get out of there. Ooh, repair bot. Ooh, any personnel guy. Don't worry, I won't let a robot kill you. I'll shoot you first.
Fifty-two. All right, let's go to the store. Uh, no, I haven't been presented with an award, um, but that's okay. They've done enough. They, uh, you know, they made FTL. Uh, this, this might be a buy. I was thinking about that before. Because it's like, I got the dual lasers, so that's the one power. Um, so that might be like the one way I'm actually interested in improving my volley. Other than like a burst laser too, I take over this also, obviously. Don't want this junk. Yeah. I mean, it's like it slows my volley a teeny tiny bit. But it's such a fun weapon. Kind of wanted to do it. So, sell you, buy you. It was meant to be in just enough scrap. Um, let me see how many jumps we got here. Do all nebula. We've got like ten. Let's so call it like nine. Um, that's fine. Oh hey WQQZ, just rolled slug A. Congratulations. It's a fun ship. At least I think so. Most people do. I think you do too. I feel like you said that. I can't keep track of who. Everyone's got their ships, so they're like strangely biased against. Hey, there's another store. See if we make 40 scrap in time to go there. Mantis, Rockman, and G First Sector. Um, that's interesting, because I was talking about that, where it's like most of the time, if I don't have any either of those, like I'll go for the NG. But that ship, it's like getting a Rockman and engines, I feel like is so good. Yeah, I know. I was trying to keep it all game uh, yesterday, but eventually I sold it Sector 5 for the flak because I was like, I'm just trying to force it really bad because I just want to use it, but I'm just not using it because I have so many lasers that are so good. Oh, man. Yeah, you're always trying to get by the teleporter, you know. I don't know that stuff, buying teleporters. I, I literally don't think I've bought a teleporter in any of my, like, 200-plus games in my stats. I only have bought one once. Although I'm, like, waiting. I'm waiting for the run where I'm, like, this is the time where I, I have to buy one. Because I'm totally open to it. But, like, I want to be forced. And it, it's just not happening. That makes it sound a little weird if I put it that way, though. So, uh, so let's just move on and uh, not mind control him too early. Where are they coming in? All right, perfect. That's where I want you to come in. You know, obviously, I'm always running you out of here. You just got to be... You'll be my new sensors person. But right now, you're my suicide person. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I haven't really done it, so I can't say for certain, but it seems to me like a lot of the time it's a totally viable and valid strategy. Like, I don't see why it wouldn't be, but it's just like not usually how I want to play. So I try to not do it and it's like, oh, apparently I don't ever really have to. Like, I don't think that's necessarily true, but it's not very often that it comes up that I have to. Obviously, or I've been like crazy lucky, but yeah, I mean, I think most ships it's like that's not going to be a run saving play that you're forced into outside of like rock a and then maybe like, you know, the ships with the crystals. So we just got to kill these guys. Come on, NG. Ah, it's not that close. 
times like that are I'm I always forget. Like it doesn't really matter there. But what you should do when you're just like waiting is just cloak. Instead of being like, oh I hope the missile doesn't fire, and then you, you know you can cloak it if it does, but if you just pre-cloak it, it's like, well it's not gonna fire while you're cloaked. It's something I always forget to do. Oh, nice, you're up to double digits again. You've been just, like, blazing through these runs. But, like, you know, most people kind of do compared to the uh, speed I'm going at. Yeah, pre-cloaking an ion intruder. I've done that before. Or a hack also. You know, it's like when you... Like, weapons like this, you can totally pre-cloak, um, like, a hack that's coming on weapons if you're okay just firing them all off at the same time and stuff. Like, you know, you can't delay the heavy laser. Or whatever, unless you have stealth weapons. But that's totally a play. Alright, just level one cloak, that's nice. Um Yeah, I mean just keep doing evasion stuff because it's like it's all that really matters. I mean technically my my uh, engine's guy's not trained yet, right? So I can still get hit, but don't worry about that too much. Really? <laughs> really? Come on. Hard to shoot my flak. What's that about? At least it only hits one thing. Oh, it hit a fake one. You can tell because I got three dots still. All right, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. Um, so if I put the burst two and the heavy two into their weapons, that should be enough to take this offline, I think. And then I'll put the dual lasers into shields, maybe. The piloting, cloaking, so many options. Um, to piloting. So it wasn't necessarily enough damage. I don't know what I was thinking. But it didn't matter because it took it offline anyways. Don't take slug surrenders. I haven't taken a slug surrender in so long. I can't remember what they are. I know one of them is like a bunch of fuel and like no scrap or something. I think one of them was like the anti bio beam or something. We were in the home nebulous, we could get the quest also. Oh, this store kind of sucks in its location, doesn't it? Well, I don't think about it. Think about how much I want to tank my score. Ooh, four shields. Let's do a crew kill. We can do a crew kill on this ship easy enough, right? say that, then I'm like, oh, what are these mantis doing in my, in my oxygen system here? Whatever. I can my control of someone on my ship. I never do this. Or I'll, not never, but pretty rarely. I was thinking maybe it would go into oxygen and hit the mantis. Cool. 
Oh, there's still one in the oxygen. I was like, wait, what's going on? Oh, because you were still mind controlled. I mean, you didn't really want to go back there anyway, but not really a good choice for you, I guess. Medical unit, no, that doesn't matter. This one doesn't scale at all, it's always two slugs, which it's just like, you should pretty much always be able to handle two slugs popping up on your ship. Actually, whatever, you just go indoors. You can go run to weapons or something. Um, got a missile, a breach missile, so so slow. So oh, very slow. Probably should have some evasion out. Gak. It is going very well. Um, this is just like such an easy run. How are you doing? Let's see, do I care that much about a store to like waste some jumps chasing a reloader? I mean, probably, right? I really can't get my scores up too high. My average is like going up already. Oh, burst laser one. <laughs> yeah, I really don't need anything here. I actually do need drone parts. That's a good reason to come here. Man, how do I get so much fuel all of a sudden? Jeez, did not need to buy fuel earlier, obviously. Um, anything else to sell? You got past Stealth B Rocket and NGB on your iPad. Oh, that's awesome. Those are some great ones to get past. Especially Stealth B. It's just like, it's not fun. And I don't know. I did the Depower Micro when I played it on tablet for Stealth B, but it's definitely not like as tightly timed, you know, as you can do it on computer. Um, like, I still think it's worth it sometimes, but it's tough. The main thing that I struggled with was boarding. I found boarding micro was like a little more difficult. But part of it was like, I think I'd be better at it now because I think I just also didn't learn it quite as much. Um, do we just shoot the guy? Yeah, let's do that thing. So we can see where they teleport. Maybe. Might need to me All right, we can do them pretty quick in there. It's like, well, I don't really care about you, I guess. I want the weapons charged and I want the evasion ready. Oh, 
Goal here is just like kill everyone as quickly as possible. Just kind of waiting for that thing to fire just so we have uh, might as well like cloak more things. Alright, so that's everyone there. It's just the crew over here. Alright, nice. There we go. On ships where you have like some mantis or a better layout for like just venting really quick. You can often like kill them, you know, by the same time that the volley gets there. Oh, another one of those stupid spam things. You know, it's like I had the I have the night bot now, but then when I had the moderator things turned on, it's just it was like warning everyone in the chat for like putting an emoji anywhere. NGB run was grueling. Yeah, NGB runs often are grueling. Although my last NGB run was just like one of the easiest runs of like any ship I've had. By like halfway through sector two, I had a burst laser two and a halberd beam with the heavy laser and I had hacking and another NG. I was just like, I guess I'm gonna win. I may have had scanners also or something ridiculous. It was just such a one run like so quickly. It's like I had bought most of that stuff too. It wasn't even free stuff. It's just I'd made so much scrap in the beginning. Um, I think it's like can make them double their thing, right? But whatever. I right, found them. Whole mess of drones and like some lasers. That stuff depowering stuff. Um, whatever. I guess we'll just hack piloting. Don't like, wait because the angle on those things is bad. Oh wait, no, it's coming in this way. Whoops. There we go. Worked out fine. I gotta get hacking up to three so I can just like use level three hacking. Get multiple hits in. Alright, that's most of them done. Hey, look. They had enough haul that I could kill them. By the time, like, their heavy laser shot me again. Alright, so I get one more jump here, right? Let's see. Yeah, I can get one more nebula jump for sure. So why not? I am blessed two for free and five weapon power in sector two. Yeah, I love just like, you know, going up high in weapon power really early. I don't do it in sector two as much as I used to, um, but I do it at the very beginning of sector three a lot. Uh, I see the goods continue. Just like remember. All right. Breach, no extra systems. Got Iron Blast two. Let's do an oxygen hack here. See if it like summons Badger or something maybe. I'm assuming I can just like do it immediately, right, with these these weapons. It's like I'm waiting for it to get me. 
will be out from this. Will not accept surrender. Oh, I guess they have a med bay. I didn't really pay attention to that. suffocating time or are you uh gonna like mess it up might mess it up nope back to the exit um how do i tell breach versus hermes i uh, yeah the only way i know is because Slugs always, it's, if it's a big missile on a slug ship, it's always breach. Um, and that's like the only one of those things I know. <laughs> so otherwise I'm always just guessing. Yeah, I could have gotten full engine string there, I know. I thought about it for a second. Alright, so we got the store. Probably like a pre-igniter. I think this is like route, not in the... Oh wait, this can... For some reason, stupid tooltip, that's all big. Uh, that does connect, so I'll just go there probably. Buy another heavy laser too, right? Buy a Mantis. Teldarin. That's like... I feel like that's... Uh, well, I, th I think it's one of the Kickstarter names, but it always reminds me of like a Protoss name. And I don't know if it actually is, but it totally reminds me of the Protoss. Um, I could buy a Shield Charge Booster, kind of like against what I said in my Augment list. That's kind of tempting. I kind of like breaking my own lists, like, immediately. Although, I'm not going to use a Vulcan. It's not going to happen. Um, Alright, I'm just going to actually take a break, though, for a minute, since this is, like, last stand. Um, store, figure stuff out for a sec, and uh, grab a drink, and then we'll just uh, play through the end of the run. So just like two minute break here real quick.
That's a elf name. That makes sense. I can see that. There's some like crossover between like Protoss and elves, sci-fi elves kind of. All right, um, didn't actually like think about what I'm doing here at all. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really buying anything here. Think about the mantis. Um, what do I want for flagship? I want that, I want that, I want that. I want some of that then. I don't like that. Let me see how my power is. I think my power is a little low, maybe. Yeah, no, my power is definitely kind of low. Well, I'll do this, and then, you know, I should make more scrap before we do the fight. Yeah, I might go there and try and get free drone parts instead of buying any more. It's like, I'll be fine with eight if that's all I have. But... Alright, hacking. So, we'll delay our hack see what they're hacking first. Battery. So we just drop our power some. control before this thing finishes going off. You can hear it doing its a uh, little thing, a little audio cue. Um, whatever. Lose your manning bonus. fire the dual lasers. I hit the wrong button. Oops. Oh well, that's fine. Take power up before they hack. where it's like I don't actually like play right and I can just like spam things at them because I have reloaders and big weapons. I definitely could use some more power. Right, got plenty of drum parts now. I'm also generally a fan of like as much as I'll run low power all like early game. For flagship, I like being up in power because it's like, if it's a bad flagship fight, that usually means it's a longer one. Um, so it's like you can't always rely on battery like pushing you to the limit quite as much. And also like if they have battery hacks and stuff, you don't want it to be like an issue. Or the O2 hack, you got more power and oxygen. Like you don't want to be running on the edge in that in that scenario. I don't think. Or having to like maximize your micro at a time when usually you're plenty safe, just like spending it and make it a little bit easier. They're up for the bit, uh, combat two, defense two, flak two, first two. Number two ship. Yeah, for the evasion. So I could just hear that. Definitely had to do that by audio because you couldn't see it happen at all. But this game has like wonderful audio cues, so that's like not really an issue for most people, thankfully. I realized as I was saying what I was saying, like, well, it's something that probably sucks for some people. Um, but it is very helpful, I find. Like, honestly, drum controls are more obnoxious than anything else. <laughs> base. 
got plenty of resources going on now. Combat drones. How much time is left on our hack here when the flak hits? Alright, so we'll just go to the base next. Alright, that seems pretty good to me. Do I want to do that? It's like, I don't really need this. I'm not going to really use that because I don't have stealth weapons. My weapons are way too fast. I'd possibly use that if I had four more scrap. But yeah, this is all good. I don't need piloting, sensors, stores three. That's all fine. And med bay, buffer points, power. Alright, so this should be a pretty cut and dry flagship, I expect. It's really not a too much risk going on here. Ideally we can get some crew kills just like stacking them up in uh, shields. Alright, piloting, that's fine. Like, you can see the crew names. It's funny. Mr. Bugger. So, we're still doing shield hack here, but I'm not going to delay my volley at all. I'm just think of shield hack as, like, making the shield stay down after you hit them. You don't have to worry about it. It's like, if the flak takes down through the bubbles, it's like, whatever. I can just shoot it again earlier. Um, I still think it works to my advantage more that way. Got the scrap. I'm gonna do a level two hack or level two mind control shields guy. I've been finding that helps get crew kills. It's something I've been doing more of recently. Um, when it's like I'm not too worried about evasion here with my volley being this large and them only having 20% evasion. Um, all right, those are pretty good. I'm just gonna fire the dual lasers right now too. Missiles. Alright, so we only have 95% because we lost the manning bonus on piloting. Probably should have, like, waited on that one. Kind of think about that fact. <laughs> That's pretty. That was a pretty dumb thing to do to just, like, destroy him. Guy in my control. Like, honestly, I don't even need to do that, but it gives me some insurance. Like just delaying that because this will kill them to make sure these guys die. He's gonna run right to the med bay, right? Gotcha. Don't wanna try and whatever, this is good enough. All right, that worked out pretty well. So definitely crew killed a lot of them. They're down to like three guys there, plus like the beam guy. I mean, it does weird stuff sometimes I find with like what crew it shows up with, but I think we'll be pretty set. So I might as well take another fight. So we had those two don't connect. 
or another possible fight, another jump. Yeah. Hacking. It's like, wow. Beam one, beam two, fire beam. We got the whole offensive beam drone collection. It's gonna do like a level three shields hack now, right? That's gonna happen. Weapons hack, really? That's not cool. I'm doing something a little like I'm not sure about this move. On the exact timing of this here. But I think this will work out fine. Right. I got their hack offline. And I think that missile's down, so I think that worked out. Nope, the missile was not down. Oops. Maybe I can shoot it. Or maybe I'll just like dodge it. Yeah, I'll just dodge it. That's cool. That's a cool thing that you can apparently do on ships sometimes. Probably should have shot, <laughs> should have shot it down instead of like trying to dodge it again. No, that was dumb. Oh, come on. I almost had it by accident. Uh, I just dodged it anyways. FTL, you're just being too nice to me. It's really trying to like get me complacent. To uh, it's gonna throw some curveball at me soon. One of these runs, probably one of my Fed runs. Fed A, Fed B. Don't think it's gonna be my Crystal B run, but maybe. That's all I got left for ships. Um, I don't know. What do I buy here? I guess I can buy piloting. No, I'll just buy a power bar after uh, this round. Low four engines by Star Sector 1. Ah, oh, that's so crazy. I mean, unless you're playing Stealth A. It's like, <laughs> I so often don't have level four engines to like Sector 6, 7, 8. Although I'm up to, I'm up to six engines right now, which is like really high for me. So they're, they're pretty low on crew here, that's for sure. So again, I'm not gonna like delay my volley at all here. I'm just gonna shoot everything. Doesn't matter. All right, missiles down. Ooh, both heavies missed though. Nuts. That would have been no shields already for him. Stuck past the shields, anyways. <laughs> um, whatever. Maybe I'll... Man, it's a lot of beam drones. 
Oh, there's a couple combats. Yeah, it's about half and half. I'm always like, wow, that's a lot of that one drone. I'm like, actually, it's split four and five. But I did pick the one that there's five of to say that about at least. Have at it, NG. Yeah, I think like having an NG is something that some people don't talk like. Not, I guess some people make it sound like I'm targeting someone. I'm not like I have no one in mind when I say that. Um, but like, I feel like having ability to repair quickly, like having at least one NG and it's just like a decent sized crew is like such a crucial part of, uh, like early risks. And it's like when you're, if you're going to have to dive like in sector two or three or something with like, oh, cause sometimes also when you do it, like you don't have cloaking or, you know, I've dove with three engines and no cloaking just cause like I had to go to a store or something before. And it's like times like that, I feel like having an NG makes it so much safer. Because otherwise you can just like have your piloting locked down with like a Lido, like four times in a row. You just die because you just can't run, you just get hit with everything. Do that. And they still have two crews somehow. I mean, it's fine. somewhere that's not weapons. Oh, you almost shot the one that... You almost shot both of them. Hacking. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Like, why did I just click that? I didn't mean to do that. Because of this in fire, yeah. I mean, whatever. It's not a big deal. But that's definitely a little bit of a mistake. Like, it's not going to change anything for flagship here, but... Ah! We took one more damage in an empty room. I failed. GG's! 109. Slug A done. So that's all the slug ships done now. So thanks to the valiant effort of the Arboretum. Ash, Elm, Yevansi, Zeramar, Oni, and Aki. <laughs> Oni and Aki? Sorry, with the Ash and Elm also. For a second I was like, wait, did I lose someone? But no, this is one of the, the two ships that starts with two crew. Alright, so let's see. 6115, look at that, over 6k. That's a pretty big score for me, right? Hey, I even made it on the scoreboard for uh, my run since I started streaking here. So, yeah, 2,097 scrap, 102 beacons, 48 ships defeated. Those are all pretty high numbers for me, all above my averages, I'm sure. Definitely a super strong, easy run. Very enjoyable. Lots of burst lasers. Can't really complain about that. Hey, Murex. Thank you for the GGs. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, 109 means I've done all the ships three times and all almost all of them four now. Just have three left in the fourth cycle. Um, but first, let me uh, throw this up in my stats. Just pull this up. Let's see how we're looking here. I don't think that's going to be a new high score for Slug A. Let's see. No, my high score for Slug A is 64.35. All the slug ships have like slightly better scores in than my average too. They're just pretty awesome ships. Let's 
plug A. 48, 102, 2097, and 6115. Now you haven't had a 6K score in like 10 runs. So that's that's cool. And let's see. Let's finish off updating my stats. Alright. So that leaves us with Fed A, Fed B, and uh, Crystal B. So Fed A and Fed B are both a little below average, but not terrible. And Crystal B is definitely above average. Definitely. Quite above average. Alright, so let's see what we got here. I'm not going to run it now, but uh, you know, let's see what it is. Oh, not Kestrel A, not Mantis C, not Mantis C. Rock, Mantis, Crystal B it is. All right. So we're going to be ending with a, uh, I'm assuming, you know, assuming we don't lose this. Going to end with the two uh, Fed ships, Fed A, Fed B. But I'll make it exciting, right? Get the, get the last good ship out of the way here. So yeah, Crystal B, um, it just starts like it's in Sector 3. I mean, it's got four-man teleporter, three of the best boarding crew, and cloaking. And then it doesn't even have like any weaknesses. It's got like engines too, even. Some scrap to sell. So yeah. That should be a pretty solid 110, I'd expect. Um I'm not sure when it'll be. Uh you know, Monday Monday, Tuesdays become kind of I should probably put on a schedule. Like that's kind of my set days. Um and then sometimes I'm able to do a second run, like you know, Thursday, Friday or something. Um I got stuff going on this week, but, you know, we'll see how it works out. Oh, hey, Sawyer. Yeah, you got here right at the very end, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, we got Crystal B next time. Had a very smooth finish to that Slug A run, you know. Can't complain. And, uh, yeah. So, good time. 61.15 score, so over 6K. So, pretty high, uh, high run. Yeah, everyone, make sure to check out. I've got the link to my YouTube in my profile now. Um, I've got almost all my runs up. There's just like four missing at this point that will be up in the next day or two. Um, and I'm also working on, I'm going to go through and like trim all the like dead time off the beginning and ends of them. Because uh, I can do that like right from the upload thing. So they'll get like nicer to watch over time. Make the channel a little slicker and everything. So yeah, thanks everyone for coming out, supporting the stream. Uh, thanks again, uh, Marble Eyes and Nikki Wire for the uh, subs. Uh, while I was offline. Super appreciate that. It's really cool. And uh, yeah, so let me know anything else that anyone wants to see moving forward. The stream. Uh, I got stuff to like finish setting up the green screen and all that. So kind of, I think, make that a goal for like the next cycle, the fifth cycle. So we get there, get the camera and stuff set up. And yeah, that's, that's that. I hope everyone has a great week. Let's find someone to uh, raid who's playing some FTL. Uh, Whiskey's still playing. I think he was doing some more speed running. So let's go hop in on there. That was pretty cool to watch last time. Now he's been speed running a lot of the like bad ships because it's like the records aren't quite as like you know maximized on them, but it, it makes for a tough experience, I know. But he's been doing really good at it, I think. All right, so catch you guys all next time. GG's. I guess let's go for a little bit of defense, sector four.